Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to earnings conference call of Everest Kanto Cylinder Limited. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during this conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Anup Pajari from CDR India. Thank you and over to you, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us on Everest Canto Cylinders Q3 SY24 earnings conference call. We have with us Mr. Puneet Kurana, Managing Director, and Mr. Sanjeev Kapoor, Chief Financial Officer of the company. We will initiate the call with opening remarks from the management, following which we'll have the forum open for a question and answer session. Before we begin, I would like to point out that some statements made in today's call may be forward-looking in nature, and a disclaimer to this effect has been included in the results presentation shared with you earlier. I would now request Puneet to make his opening remarks. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for an earning conference call. I will initiate my call by talking you through the operational and financial performance, after which we will open the forum to have a Q&A session. We are pleased to announce a healthy performance during the quarter. Following a challenging FY23, we have witnessed a stable and progressively improving performance through FY24. The rise in demand through our products in both domestic and international market in recent quarters have enabled us to achieve this improvement in our performance. Our key CNG segment sales in particular have been healthy, upstick, supporting our overall performance in Q3 FY24. On the consolidated basis, our revenue stood at 330 crores in Q3 FY24, up from rupees 299 crores in Q2 FY24 and rupees 256 crores in Q3 FY23. Our standard revenue stood at 207 crores, up from rupees 182 crores in Q2 FY24 and rupees 143 crores in Q3 FY23. The CNG segments contributed to consolidated revenue improved to 54% in Q3 FY24 compared to 45% in Q3 FY23. In Q3 FY24, consolidated EBITDA stood at 52 crores with margin of 15.6% and our, EBITDA, our standard EBITDA stood at 30 crores with a margin of 14.7%. As we continue to improve our top line performance, we are confident in the ability to maintain such margin levels with higher revenue, improved product mix and ongoing efforts to manage cost. Margin can be improved further in the future. However, we would like to share margin range from 14 to 16% at a consolidated level. As we have started in the past, said in the past, we remain bullish on the outlook of CNG cylinder market in India. Owing to the proactive steps taken by the government to promote CNG as one of the cleaner energy sources, the government clearly in working towards increasing the shares of natural gas in energy mix from 7 to 15 percent by 2030, aiming from both environmental and economic benefit. Various steps have been taken to increase the domestic production of gas, including recent mandate to blend compressed biogas with CNG. The expansion of city gas distribution network, which aims to cover majority of the population and geographical area, together with efforts to make CNG more affordable through revised pricing and financial incentives. Further highlights the government efforts. We are also keen on following global development in green hydrogen, recognizing its potential to transform the seamless gas cylinder industry over the long term. With our seamless technology enabling our cylinders to withstand high pressure, we are already meeting the demand for of hydrogen sector as a as a green is set green hydrogen is set to play a critical role in shaping India's sustainable energy landscape. EKC's expertise in Supplying hydrogen cylinder globally places us in a strong position within the expanding hydrogen market. To conclude, we remain committed to reinforcing our market leadership in the sector, augmenting value of our stakeholders, and to make a meaningful contribution to the worldwide movement towards the energy, cleaner energy solution. With advocate capacity in strong, and a strong balance sheet, we believe we are well placed to tap the growth opportunity. 
On that note, I come to an end to my opening remark and would request you, the moderator to open the forum for any questions that you may have. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and 2. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Participants, you may press star and 1 to ask a question. The first question is from the line of Deepan Shankar from Trustline PMS. Please go ahead. Good evening, everyone. Thanks a lot for the opportunity and congratulations for a great set of numbers. Uh, sir, firstly, from my side, 50% uh, plus kind of growth in CNG business. So, what has uh, contributed this kind of uh, recovery in sales? So, I, you know, um, the, the OEM uh, business last year was a little slow, and now, you know, the the OEM business is coming back quite strong, you know, with more development of infrastructure, uh, more availability of CNG is making, uh, you know, the the uh, vehicle, uh, you know, the OEMs to produce more CNG vehicles. Okay. So, C uh, CNG volume for the uh, industry is not going to this level, right, sir? Uh, so, this is only because they had lower inventory uh, uh, in the previous quarter, so that has got uh, added to the volumes. Lower inventory. Uh, Earlier inventory got. Yeah, yeah, you, you could say that, yes. Because uh, last year was a little bit slow, and so things are, okay. uh, you know, now coming back uh, quite well. Okay, okay, okay. So now, now from this level, what kind of growth uh, we, are, we are expecting in the CNG business to sustain? Yeah, about 10%. Okay, okay, sure. And uh, what is the kind of uh, capacity utilization currently we have? About 65%. 65, okay. And are, uh, any breakthrough in terms of uh, PV volume addition or any new customer additions we, uh, we are at discussions with PV customers? Yeah, we are in continuous discussion with them. Hopefully, we, we, we should have something, uh, you know, uh, probably in the next uh, next quarter, maybe something might be, might, uh, we might have some breakthroughs. So, currently, we are not supplying uh, any volumes to PV, right, sir? Yeah, we are supplying to PV, but uh, uh, not a very large volume. We are supplying to some okay. PV. Yeah. Okay, okay. And finally, uh, what what is your guidance for FI 24 and 25 revenue growth? Maybe after the first quarter, we can have a better you know visibility and give you some better view. But okay. Okay. for FI 24, CNG is looking stronger. Uh, you know, uh, definitely things are looking much better. You know, and you can see that in this performance. So, so Q4, uh, we, we are expecting uh, better numbers? Yes, things are looking up, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure, sir. Thanks a lot and all the best. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Participants, you may press star and one to answer the question. The next question is from the land of Pranav Jain from Niveshri Investments. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. Congratulations on the good set of numbers. Uh, I am relatively new to the company, so I would like to, uh, I mean, get to know better the kind of raw materials that we are utilizing right now, how the price trend has been, I mean, over the last uh, uh, quarter and this quarter. And on that same front, and uh, what are the key customer segments that we are serving to? And if you can give us some broad split between the customer segments, that will help me understand the company better. Yeah. So, so the, the key raw material of the company is we are uh, importing seamless steel tubes. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So seamless yeah. steel. Okay. Yeah. 
we are importing the seamless steel tubes um and uh, what's the next question what the uh, what's the raw material price uh, the price trend of the it is you know uh, been more or less stable in the in the last. so so you know it's not a very volatile product our our seamless tubes don't uh, are not very volatile so you have uh, it's more or less stable over you know so last two three quarters it's been stable yes. okay and going forward we'll see it remaining at the same level it looks it looks quite stable you know uh, you know it looks it looks to be quite stable okay and in terms of our customer segment that we are serving if you can help me broadly understand our product has a, our products have wide variety of customers you know so uh, because uh, a, we are also catering to an industrial market where the you know the the range is uh, i mean the the product customers is from like say chemical to aerospace to um, uh, you know all sorts of uh, industrial gases uh, in the automobile segment that we uh, you know for cng then for cng infrastructure we have uh, products uh, also for uh, uh, you know your um, for medical oxygen we have products so uh, you know there is a range of products is huge we have a huge range of huge industry catering to uh, you know our products okay so just to simplify the so what segment would be uh, i mean the majority major beneficiary of our product so it would be industrial and cng these these two it would be divided among them okay so industrial as in the capital goods industry capital good uh, or you could say you know it is it, it could be chemical processing industry it could be uh, you know your cutting welding industry it, it could be fire industry you know so it's, it's a it's a, re, a wide range of anybody using gases you know uh, is is a customer all okay. people manufacturing gases making ga- uh, uh, selling gases using gases you know all our customers okay so i think that is Thank you and congrats on good test of you. Thank you. Thank you. Part seven, you may press star and one to ask a question. The next question is from the line of Vishal from Swan Investments LLC. Please go ahead. Hello, am I audible? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Congratulations for good set of. Hello, please from my side. We are losing your audio. Can you please speak through the handset? Yeah, am I audible now? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah, uh, sir. A couple of questions from my side. Uh, there has been, uh, you know, tra- good trajectory last quarter. We have seen USA business has uh, seen good growth. Uh, but and you also guided uh, during the last con call that USA and UAE, you have seen some traction. The business coming. but this quarter again there is a drop in usa uh, business so uh, how should we look and what is your view going forward in near term for a usa business and for uh, next quarter and next year see us is a is a project based business um so i i think uh, you know the order book is good and uh, you know it should it should it should continue you know this uh, can should be i think it should continue okay okay so so you expect growth uh, in us business for the next year yeah okay okay fine sir uh, sir uh, there has been one uh, observation uh, your employee cost this quarter has increased so is this some one off uh, payment they sitting in that number Uh, no, no. One second. We we'll just have a look. Employee cost. Hmm. This is. So there has been ten percent increase on quarter-on-quarter quarter basis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think. Uh, uh, I think it's a normal increases. Okay. 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 Uh, sir uh, my third question is regarding how do you see the scenario in cascade business uh, right now as uh, you know market scenario is improving and what is the outlook for that business going at i think it, it should be good i mean cascade business should be growing it will be growing okay okay and sir we would like to hear from you uh, you know the some some uh, sort of insight on the outlook of uh, the india business as well Uh, for the near to medium term that would be great sir 
cannot give any specific outlook, but uh, I think things are things are looking up. You know, uh, things are you know it, it's more uh, uh, things are growing quite structured way now. You know, uh, uh, so there, there is uh, it's it's very uh, naturally growing. You know, there is uh, uh, it's very organic and it's very well. It's, it's growing pretty well. You know, and it's 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 quite strong and. Uh, we see a sustainable. We can see a sustainable growth, you know, over the over the period. So I think things are things are looking up now, you know. Okay, because sir, I, my point is coming from a fact that last quarter you guided that H2 uh, uh, will see a good uh, 10% growth uh, over on a sequential basis. Uh, so we have seen this quarter, uh, you know, uh, around that number. So that guidance stays. So, uh, similarly, do you expect, you know, same kind of run rate to continue in, uh, next quarter as well and uh, kind of, sure, so in be, that... Growth will be there, but you know, um, I think if we maintain this, I think we, we, we should we should be okay, you know, to uh, go into the next year where we can look at better things, you know, I think, uh, but definitely, you know, uh, things are improving in everywhere from every sector, so definitely it's... Uh, it's a good time. It's a, it's coming. You know, things are coming in place. Okay. So, sir, last I would not press too much, but last, uh, uh, sir, uh, do you expect FY twenty four to end with a, a better? Uh, you know, uh, we, we would better the number of uh, FY twenty three in term in terms of top line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, and all the best, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to all the participants, you may press star and 1 to ask a question. The next question is from the line of Kumar Sorum from Scientific Investing. Please go ahead. Uh, hello, sir. So my yes. question is regarding, uh, you know, we have reduced the debt to a large extent. Sir, and, your voice uh, is coming a little muffled. Can you please speak through the hand? Uh, is it better now? A little better, yeah. Okay, okay. So my question is, uh, we have been uh, very successful in reducing the debt and almost in the last six years from 544 crore we are to 73 crore. So are we planning to become totally debt free? Uh, uh, that is the first question. And the current CWIP which is there for 80 crores, uh, I'm sure it will go live in some time. So what is our CapEx plan and whatever uh, cash flows will be there post CapEx, in future, given will be debt free. What is the plan to use it, especially given we are distributing only eight crore as dividend, and I believe we'll be earning more than one twenty crore as cash flow. So, if you can, you know, combine all of this and address sir. Another thing that I want to see here is the fact that our capex is okay, but the CPF. So, you are another about the C. What did you ask for that? One is capex plan debt uh, debt free, and sir, soon. Yeah, so soon you will become debt free. Like now, hardly 70 crore of debt is there. So we will have a lot of cash flows. What is the plan to deploy that cash flow? Uh, okay. So, so you know, see, company is debt free now. You know, we we have. So definitely, if we have cash, I think um, um, we'll definitely look to uh, put it to the board to you know maybe distribute a higher dividend or or any something else that they can uh, think of. Definitely, you know. We will. Uh, we'd like that also. And yes, sir, what is the capex so plan for the, next two uh, years? Yeah, sorry, sorry. What is the capex plan for next yeah, two yeah. years? So capex plan, you know, in India we've already executed some of the capex. Uh, partial should be ex uh, executed, but but in Egypt we are now, uh, you know, moving forward where we have already started the the uh, in construction, and. Uh, yeah, that, that's the capex now in Egypt, the new plant. Okay, okay, sir. Thanks a lot and best wishes. Thank you. Next question is from the line of Sarza Kawasti from IDBI Capital Markets. Please go ahead. So, uh, first of all, sir, congratulations on good set of numbers. So, my question. Uh, so, sir, my question is on margin front. So, sir, like we achieved 15% margin in this quarter, so whether we will be able, able to sustain in upcoming quarters? Yeah. 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 No, no. Yeah. Margin should be okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next question is from line of Sanika from Sapphire Capital. Please go ahead. Hi, sir. Oh, am I audible? 
Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so you said that we will be better than last year in terms of top line, which means that uh, we will need around 370 crores of revenue in quarter four. So, are we on track to get that, or? Yeah, yeah, we're on track. Yeah. Okay, and uh, how are we going to get? Uh, like, how, why are we expecting this growth in quarter four? Like, because we're already like one and a half months down the quarter four. So, what are the major? So you know, major our things have been good in the last quarter. So you know, we are we are hoping that it will remain this way, and uh, you know, it should it should meet the target we set for ourselves for this year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next follow-up question is from line of Parav Jain from Nivesha Investment Advisory. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. So just one follow-up question on your ratios. Uh, can you help me with your the uh, cash conversion ratios and working capital ratios, sir? Yeah, one second. Okay, and and what about the other one? Uh, cash conversion ratio. And, and the other one is capital ratio. And working okay. capital. So we'll, we'll get back to him. Yeah, we'll get back to him. Uh, I think we'll, we'll have to get back to you on that. Okay, sir. Okay. Sorry for that. Sorry, sorry for that. No issues, sir. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to all the participants, you may press star and one to answer the question. Next question is from the line of Vishal. Uh, sorry, the follow-up question is from the line of Vishal from Swan Investments. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you for taking my question again, sir. Sir, just one uh, small question. Uh, adding to the last question on CAPEX, uh, sir, can you share uh, what kind of CAPEX we have done for uh, the nine months and uh, what are our plans for FY24 and 25? So, one second, yeah. So, what is CAPEX you've done? Uh, it's a so, we've done CAPEX how much? So 30 crores is already done capex, and yeah. and what do we plan in the next? What is it? Plan another 20 crores. Another 20 crores is planned. Yeah. 20 crores for uh, would be done in uh, this quarter, so that uh, we'll be at 50 crore for FY24. Is the number right? One second. Yeah. This is the. Just one second. Yeah. 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 Sure, sir. Yeah, I, yeah, this is Sanjeev here. Yeah. So, uh, on the CapEx front, uh, we, uh, we, a, we had announced a project earlier. We are going slow on that. And out of that, uh, we have uh, spent around, uh, around uh, 25 to 30 crores in that project. And balance would be spent during the uh, coming year. Okay, okay. So, so uh, if I understand it right, so this year would be 30 crores. We have spent the capex, yeah. and next year uh, would be uh, subsequent 20, 25 crores. Right, absolutely. Okay, thank you so much, sir, and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Participants, you may press star and one to ask the question. The next question is from line of. Avnisha Nata from Primary Financial, please go ahead. Am I audible? Yes. 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 Yeah, thanks a lot for the opportunity. Congratulations on a uh, very good set of numbers. Just one small question. What is the cash generated from operations for the first nine months ended 31st December? Post working capital changes? What is the cash? That's just for one second. Yeah. Nine months, yeah. Uh, sorry, we are not having the number that, uh, uh, in our hand as of. We'll come back to you on this. Okay, not a problem. Thank you. Thank you. Participants, you may press star and one to ask the question. A reminder to all the participants, you may press star and one to ask a question. As there are no further questions, I would now like to hand the conference over to the management for closing comments. Yeah, uh, 
thank you once again for your interest and support. Should you need any further clarification or would you like to know more about the company, please feel free to contact our investor relation team. Thank you. Thank you very much. On behalf of Everest Kanto Surrender Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us and you may now disconnect your lines. Thank you.